Hi everybody, this is Sansan Mashi, and this is a pick a card reading on what is manifesting for you on the new moon. So the new moon at the time I'm recording is on August 30th, 2019, but this is a timeless message. So if you're at a certain part of the moon cycle, whatever day it is for you, this is a reading on what's manifesting for you by the new moon. Um, so go ahead and pick a reading, number one, two, or three, to get your message. This is a mini earth gem, and this is a larger earth gem. I'll provide a link in the description below to these earth gems, which are organites. And then this is a carnelian. So if those call out to you, then... Go ahead and trust your intuition and choose those messages. Um, if you just have a favorite number, reading one, two, or three, you can pick that way. Take your time, and the timestamps will be in the description below, uh, <laughs> description box below as well. So I will see you all um, in your reading, whichever one you choose. Alright, so this is reading number one. We're going to be looking at the energy of where you're at right now, where you'll be at with the new moon, and then what is going to be manifesting at that time. So where you're at, we have honesty. I like it. <laughs> Ooh, with the Queen of Cups, which talks about commitment, longevity, and eternity as the keywords at the bottom. So what I'm getting here is you have honest eyes. Um, and so what I mean by that, I guess, is that your intentions are set. You have very honest intentions and your heart's in a very good place for what you're trying to manifest right now. So right now you're already at a very good spot and your honesty is burning through any sort of deceptive energies at this time, helping you release whatever energy doesn't really serve you, which is going to work wonderfully for the new moon. So you're clearing away all the energy that doesn't serve you so that on the new moon, the good energy of what you're trying to manifest can come in. So on the new moon, your energy is going to be this cycles card, which kind of matches with the moon cycles, okay? So yeah, you're gonna be in sync with the new moon energy is what I'm getting. Yeah, the eight of wands. And in this deck, to me, the eight of wands is very much so about making that final cut to the old residual energy. And in this deck, the keywords here say dedication, oath, and symbol. So on the new moon, you are proving that you are dedicated to whatever it is that you want to manifest. So that's a very good spot. And then this is what manifests on or um, from the new moon cycle. We get the fledgling and we get the queen of swords. These are the two cards that I thought were gonna come out actually, the two different birds, the two different queens in this deck. So that's really cool. So what manifests for you, it says powerful ally loyalty and honor so it looks like you are very dedicated to your path and dedicated to what you desire what you manifest is somebody or some sort of opportunity that is very dedicated and loyal as well so you manifest a vibrational match you manifest someone or something that is at the same like part of the journey as you like you're both learning a lot at this time you're on the same page and you both want to help each other this is somebody who will actually like help you this is as it says a powerful ally and once again a vibrational match by being a bird just like you um kind 
honest eyes. Uh, the word honesty is calling out because the Queen of Swords is someone who very much speaks their truth. And so the Queen of Cups is someone who's very loving and has an honest heart and an open heart. And then the Queen of Swords has a very open mind. And so I'm getting the, the bridge here is the honesty. So that is really nice. So if you are looking to manifest love or coming together with somebody or a business partner or some opportunity that is going to help you at this time on your journey, that is what you're manifesting. And something I'm getting is that, yeah, you're both at the same spot of learning. It's going to be something that you can work on together. So it's not like you're just going to meet someone that has everything figured out and they're going to provide every single thing for you. It's better than that. It's someone who's also trying to grow and learn and that you can help each other and that you're going to like be this power team, this power couple, <laughs> perhaps, you know, as, as like a love message. So the last part of this reading, we're just going to draw this or, or flip this card here for a message for what can help you at this current time. Believe in the impossible. So right now you are still having faith and committed to the idea that you deserve this partner or this support. So keep believing in that. You're almost there is something I'm kind of getting. Some of you, this might take multiple cycles to actually come into union with this person. And I really feel that just because this is the cycles card. But I also feel like if that is the case, it might just be like one more moon cycle away. But in general, this is coming in relatively soon. So it's this is intended to be coming in for this upcoming new moon. So I'm just also getting the message that some of you are listening to this video at a later time. Uh, right now I'm recording on August 26th, so I'm getting some of you might be listening to this like maybe in September or October or just some totally different time and I'm just getting for you then, then yeah, the, the next few cycles, I don't know, it, it might have a lot more to do with some sort of timing is what I'm getting. Like sometimes you can't just force manifest is what I'm trying to get. I, like I'm getting some of you are trying to manifest something to come together right away and depending on where you're out on the journey you need to be honest with yourself and ask yourself how much like how much do you trust how much how much are you committed to this path no matter what are you committed to this path no matter if the outcome happens if the person shows up if the manifestation occurs are you still committed to your path? Do you still want this even if this other person or this other manifestation doesn't show up? And if you don't, then then that is that's where you're at and, and that's gonna take multiple cycles of releasing those doubts and those fears or whatever those energies are that might make that might discourage you, you know. It is very discouraging to be committed to a path and not being sure if anything is actually going to manifest out of it. Um, so that's a puzzle for some of you. And then we're getting the Three of Swords. Yeah, believe in the impossible during this time. Right now you're, you're showing great effort. You're really trying here and it really feels difficult to do this by yourself. And it is true, you're not actually doing this by yourself. You are not alone. You are manifesting this support. You really are. Um, but also trust that right now in the present moment, all you've got is the present moment. So you have to survive. You have to keep working hard and, and making it on your journey sort of by yourself or before this manifestation occurs. Y you know, you got to trust that you can save yourself, you know, in the possibility that nobody or nothing manifests or shows up. But I'm getting that's not true. Someone is definitely manifesting, but perhaps that mindset that it's just like you have to do this by yourself, but you're also committed to this person coming in, that is going to help is what I'm getting. So I'm just getting do not give up. You're very close. 
Um, and keep showing persistence and keep working hard and do not give up. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Do not give up. Don't, don't get discouraged if this person doesn't manifest super suddenly or whatever. But I am getting, for a lot of you listening, the message I'm getting is that this is manifesting this upcoming new moon. So I hope that manifests for you all. I'm sending so much love and light, and I am wishing you all the best. Take care. reading number two so this energy here is where you're at right now um, this is the energy you're at on the new moon and this is what is manifesting for you on or throughout the moon, new moon cycle that comes next so this could even be the full moon but this is intended to be what's manifesting for you at the new moon time so where you're at right now we've got vision Ooh, and the Ten of Pentacles. So right now you're reaching completion and you are seeing your vision come together. You're seeing the bigger picture and it's feeling things are feeling a little bit more complete. You feel like there might be more to go, of course, but that right now you certain realizations have come up where you now have the strength to keep going. So I'm seeing that you're getting specific visions or dreams that are showing you what is coming next, step by step. Spirit is going to guide you every step of the way. So that's where you're at right now. You're kind of at this place of dreaming, having hope, faith, visualizing what you want, getting visions that your manifestations are coming in and that you're on the right path. Where you're at on the new moon, we get meditation, and the Eight of Pentacles, another card about a cycle and a, like a circular energy. Because this card also has like a circle, circle energy. So, And this says time, milestones, and progression. So the new moon is showing that you have progressed. You're going to be at a point where you feel revitalized, renewed. You feel like you have time to rest and you have time to reflect on more of what it is that you want. So I feel like you're gonna be feeling really peaceful on the new moon and you're having a lot of time to rest and to meditate, yeah. So you're reaching, yeah, you'll see by the new moon that you've reached a milestone and it'll feel very peaceful for you and clear. And then this is the energy of what is manifesting with that loyalty, and the Knight of Cups. Some sort of loyal emotion. Uh, sorry, that didn't come out right. So Knight of Cups is the water. And basically, I'm trying to say you're manifesting love. <laughs> you're manifesting a loyal partner. Someone who will protect you and grow with you and, and do things to help you they want to serve you you know they're loyal to you <laughs> so this emotional offer is going to provide a lot of stability this is your own as well it's a it's a manifestation of yourself you're very protective and loyal to yourself and to others that you care about and so what is manifesting for you is a loyal partner is what i'm getting so this might be connected to reading one. I kind of felt that vibe since readings one and two are both earth gems. So this might be that you are manifesting someone that you can protect and you can support is also what I'm getting. And, and then a different message that I'm getting for some of you out there is that you are manifesting more steps to building a foundation in the home so finances you're manifesting abundance 
and it's abundance that comes from um, your pure, romantic, fun-loving heart that is charging forward. So I'm getting that positive support is coming your way. People who have a very fun, optimistic approach at this time are manifesting into your life. And that kind of support is coming in and it's going to help you very much in the material world. So I'm seeing you're actually doing very good physically. You're doing very good financially with your abundance. And what's manifesting for you is going to be that emotional security showing and providing for you that you are doing a lot and that you have a lot of abundance that you deserve to manifest. So I hope that made sense. So this is the overall me message that is meant to help you at this time. We get expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. So that is kind of saying for those of you who chose reading to, to really expect powerful change, expect big things with this upcoming new moon. And the page of pentacles, this is indicating that, yeah, this is kind of talking about this coming new moon that expect powerful change in the physical world. I'm really getting that, you know, for some of you, if you're just having a lot of trust that finances and your abundance is going to manifest and that you're kind of being patient about that, this is saying that, yeah, perhaps by the new moon, those finances will, or the, the right people will manifest to prove to you that your abundance is going to work out just fine. Um, yeah, not that you need anyone or anything to prove to you anything, but when it comes to this material world and when we need certain things to pay the bills or to feed ourselves and stuff like that, um, yeah, those things do sort of need to come in. And I'm getting that those are coming in and you're going to see that with the new moon and with the next, the upcoming moon cycle. So I hope that resonates. I'm sending so much love and light. I'm wishing you all the best and I'll talk to you all in another video. Take care. All right, reading number three. So this energy here is where you're currently at. This energy is where you'll be on the new moon. And this energy is what you are manifesting on the new moon. So where you are currently at, we are getting ooh, the warrior with the tower. So you are the change is what I'm getting. You are being the change. But the tower also says a twist of fate at the mercy of a greater power. So right now, some major changes are happening in your life or a big change is about to occur that is going to remind you of the warrior within, reminding you that there's this dreamy manifestation coming your way. So if any of you are looking for a love type of manifestation, this is a very positive sign that you're heading in that direction and that whatever changes are happening right now are probably positive signs to you that that is coming your way. <laughs> so that's what I'm getting. Where you are at by the new moon, on the new moon, we get this moon energy, which is showing a full moon actually. So that to me is saying you are at this point on the new moon where you're anticipating a lot is going to manifest for you throughout this next month by the next full moon. So it looks like by the new moon, so much has come in already that you're already trusting and you're wanting to manifest. You're already excited for the next cycle. You're already excited for the next month of September or whatever month that you're hearing for, the, for this video. So the new moon is August 30th, so I'm getting by that point. You're like, wow, I can't wait for the full moon that's like on September 15th or 14th. I can't remember exactly when, but it's like the point is you're like, wow, truly a lot is here for me. I'm so ready to get into the month of September. The seven of pentacles. Yeah, it's like 
Seven of Pentacles is the card of time. It does say delay on there. So for reading three, if you chose reading three, I am getting that you might have manifested things early. And now that is it's here, it's a matter of waiting for the full moon. So what's manifesting for you on the new moon might be part of what you're looking for with your manifestation. I'm not quite sure. So let's see what manifests on the new moon. That's what this is intended to be. Movement in the five of water. It's Yeah, it's definitely an energy of moving. So there is a lot of stuff happening for you on the new moon. What manifests for you is freeing yourself from anything that's been holding you back in the material world. And this gets you very excited for the next full moon. So I'm getting your major manifestations are really coming in next full moon after this new moon that's coming up. Um, but in general, what's awesome is that you already manifested so much with this full moon that it's coming in a little bit earlier actually than the new moon. So what's manifesting for you this new moon is your dreams coming true a little bit before it right now. So I'm just getting those of you who chose this reading, whatever's happening in your life right now, that's it. <laughs> that's what's manifesting for you for this new moon. And if it's difficult to see what's here right now, what's manifesting for you this new moon is the release of whatever stuff is from the past. I'm getting you've already brought, you've already received a lot of the energy and now it's just a matter of clearing the obstacles and clearing the old residual energy that's making it difficult for you to feel free right now, to feel like you've made it. There's energy that makes maybe makes you feel like you're not um, seeing the bigger picture or that you're being distracted from what's in front of you. And I'm just getting that what is manifesting for you is, yeah, movement away from those distractions and towards what you really want. So I'm very excited for those of you who chose reading three for the full moon, honestly. So let's get a message for what can help you right now. We get adjustments are required and we are getting King of Cups reverse, which is saying you're not seeing the bigger picture. This says seeing the bigger picture and gaining perspective as the keywords down there. So yeah, I'm getting, you already manifested whatever you're talking about and you're just not seeing it and it's because you do need to adjust your energy so that you can step away from anything distracting you so that's what i'm getting for reading number three i hope that was a good reading for you thank you all for being here um uh, yeah anything holding you back anything like this says underlying emotional issue so anything self-doubt and fear you're moving away from fear so yeah, peace and confidence is what's manifesting basically this new moon for you. So, and more insight and having a, a clearer vision and a, a high, yeah, a higher perspective of what's actually happening for you. So yeah, hope that resonates. Thank you all for being here. I'm sending so much love and light and I'll talk to you all in another video. Take care.